Welcome to another PRS Guitar Owners Worldwide video. I can already hear you asking who. This time we are with Chris Robertson of Blackstone Cherry. Who? I this have guy. Worn the who shirt, right? You should have worn the shirt. This guy. I should have. Okay, so you know we're here to talk about some PRS guitars. Chris has got a few, to say the least. Um, there's one black sheep in the herd, but we won't talk about that. Uh, let's have a look. Where do you want to start? What's your, what do you start the set with? Uh, let's see, the first one I play is this one, which is, uh, it's got one of those fancy truss rod covers on it. It's one of the original uh, first 100. Nice. CR Team Red. Got the, uh, the Liam Special up here. Yeah. Sorry, Sean. Sure. Yeah, sorry, Sean. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> but no, it's uh, the only thing I did is, and I just did this tour. Nice. Is I put some lampshades on it. I was like, eh. and you'll see the old knobs on yeah. another guitar. But um, looks yeah, good. This is this is the one, man. This is this is one of the very first ones I got. Uh, nice. Nothing's changed on it other than the lampshades. Yeah. And I switched too, man. I, I used to use uh, tens and ten to fifty twos, and I've gone to elevens uh, now. Oh wow. And I, I like it a lot better. Yep. Um, is yeah, that just, in drop C sharp or? This one's a C sharp. Right, okay. Um, I just like the tension a little better. Yeah. Um, and then. So that's the European release. Do you yeah. use the worldwide release over in the States? Bit of both? Yeah, actually in the States, I just use the, uh, I only use the worldwide release. Yeah. Because um, I've got the others. Look here, I know it's not a man. This is one I play second, which is obviously doesn't have birds or anything. But it's a uh, it's a Nash T63 um, that I picked up used back home and I don't know I just, nice. I've always loved Telecasters so yeah I had a bit of uh, had a bit of road time yeah it, uh, it's cool and then let's see after that it depends on the night too because sometimes I'll I'll play a different one second. So a lot of guys have certain guitars that they'll play for certain songs. You just kind of go with the feeling of it, then you chop and change it. Got tunings. I yeah. mean, basically, I'll play with tuning blocks. And then there's the Strip 58. Uh, Paul and Jesus love you. That's a sticker. <laughs> that, that sticker's been on there for how many years now? Three years. Yeah, three years. Nice. And then the, yeah, this is where I replace the knobs. Right. <laughs> I played this one one song, and I was like, I like my SE better. Yeah. But, <laughs> but this one's nice. 5708s, uh, Jaybirds, the whole nine. You know. And it's got uh, this one's in. Um, I use it for Soul Creek, so it's a. Uh, it's kind of like an open G. It's like a pseudo open G. It's. Uh, okay. But it's a full step down, so it's low to high C G C. No shit, sorry. C F C F A D. Okay. Yeah, so it's C F C F A D, which is a different kind of tuning. Yeah. Which is why, I, like, I see people playing videos of some of those songs, and I'm like, it'd be so much easier if they knew the tuning. Yeah. Um, and trying to do all that stuff. So is that is that the first one that Paul sent you? Or? Uh, no, the, that one's at home. That one is an Arctic White. Uh, is that 245? Yeah, it's just right. an Arctic White 245 with a wrap around and everything. Uh, let's see, then I go to this one right here. Yep, we recognize that one as well. Yep, this one is uh, this is uh, one of the first ones too. The second run. Um, it's got the truss rod cover that Scott had made for me. Yep, shout out Scott. Yeah. And I put lampshades on it again. Yeah, um, it does suit it really well. It really does. I mean, it, you know, I, that was the only thing I wish. Like, if, if we could have done anything different on the models, it would yeah. have been having lampshades. But you can get 57 away, uh, but they wouldn't give you lampshades. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man, this one's in. Uh, it's just a half step down, D sharp cool. standard. Um, another one, and uh, I play this one. Uh, sometimes I, I go between this one and the telly. Yep on the that stuff just depending on the song you know like there's some songs like uh like bad habits sometimes i'll, I'll play it on the telly and then there's different stuff but, uh, so i'm probably going to get lynched for asking this question uh, but red or blue have you got a favorite uh, i mean the red was the original the, it's the, the, named after the, the band the, right the red was the very first one yeah. but blue is my favorite color of all time so it's kind of like picking your favorite kid <laughs> Yeah, but I see that. I'm lucky because I only have one child in real life, so <laughs> I'm just gonna say if mm, they're all amazing, but the very first one was the CR Team Red, the first 100. Yeah. So there we go. You know, heard it. The blue ones are built <laughs> for speed, though. Yeah, the red's built for comfort. <laughs> right. And then uh, my S2, 
uh, single cut that it's it's just all bone stock um, nothing changed on it it um, I use this one in drop C so this one's okay. like lonely train boom boom white trash yep. uh, hoochie coochie man gets a lot of heavy yeah. play from the look of the scratches yeah man dude they're all beat up really yeah. bad through here and that's I wear bracelets and then I'm really heavy handed but and they're all 11 to uh, 11 to 48 on every guitar um, I we started using the Ernie Ball strings this year and uh, I've just gone to the power slinkies, the 11 to 48s. Yep. I'm, I'm tempted to go to the 12s just because I like that added tension. Yeah, yeah. Especially when like, you know, like I like to shake notes quite a bit right. and uh, sometimes I'll shake them too much. But <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, it's, those are the guitars I'm using this run. Um, in, uh, in storage, I've got, uh, I've got another, I've got an S2 Starla and I think that's it. That was out with you last time, wasn't it? Was that the yeah. Seafoam one? Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. So, I've got you know I've got that one in storage, and then I've got a uh, I've got one of the Jimi Hendrix um, Mexican Strats that I keep nice. on the bus just for a bus guitar. Yep. Um, cool. But yeah, man, that's 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 all I'm running these days. All right. Is, is and your uh, and in the states, it's pretty much the same. I mean, yep. I've got. Uh, Oh, you've got something hidden up your sleeve in the states that well, you can't bring yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I was going to bring it. I was going to bring that Northern Lights guitar this trip, um, but instead I ended up bringing. Sorry, Skippy's. That's right. Lights. Uh, I ended up bringing the Tele just to add that diversity because I've yep. got you know, I mean, for all practical purposes, this is the Northern Lights guitar just without the, well, the yeah. fancy top. So, you know, but that's the guitars. I'll show you the uh, the yeah, rack. Yeah. Cool. So there's not a lot going on in the rack, is there? No, nice and man. simple. Like th this is Ben's rig, his helix, his wireless, his power amp, and then all I've got in the rack is my wireless and uh, my power amp. Yep. And it's the Shure ULXD4 ISP Stealth power amp. Super simple setups. I really like these wireless units, though. Yeah. I was anti-wireless for so many years, and there's so days that it that. that it doesn't sound right to me, and we use a cable. I mean. Yeah. You know. Oh, fair enough. It's, it's an ever it's an ongoing battle some days. Yeah. So, Helix is over yeah, here, it's quite man. simple it's, back here because we've got the Helix out front, yeah. so let's have a look. Yeah. Um, in the whole world of Digital V real amps, dare yeah. I say it, you've been doing Helix for some time now, haven't you? Man, I've been on it now for about a year and a half, and uh, you know, I, I was a I was a straight tube amp and boutique tube amp guy at that, yep. you know, like... I was Buddhas and everything was, like that, yeah, wasn't dude, it? Yeah, dude, I was playing Buddhas, and then I had an, I've got an original Soul and Paul's amp um, that Paul modded for me, and I love them, and they're amazing, but... The consistency of of the the digital modeling stuff is is just amazing, and I, I run straight to front of house and monitors out of the floor unit here. Yes. And then there's a cable that goes to the power amp to the stealth cabs, uh, just for some stage volume. Yep. So in case your monitors go down or something, yeah, I've yeah. still got volume there. Um, but you know, and I've got it set up really simple. I've got a solo switch, and the way I do mine is I assign multiple things to a foot switch. Okay. So when I click solo. The volume of the amp goes up, an overdrive comes on, and a delay. Um, Octafuzz is just the Octafuzz. Hippieism actually <laughs> turns on uh, a univibe, a phaser, a delay, and a spring reverb. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then I've got the fuzz, uh, the reverse delay. Yeah. The octaves is kind of like a pog, so it's an octave okay. up and an octave down. Cool. Trim is just like a, a pretty choppy tremolo. Yep. And then my tele switch will take the presence and the treble down on the amp. Okay. So like normally they're at six and one, they go to four point five and zero when I click the tele switch. Cool. And that's that's I mean that's pretty much the entire rig. I, nice. I, I've simplified it as much as I can, and it's more consistent and sounds better to me now than it ever has. Yeah. So. So you play around with all the profiles and stuff yourself, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've built every profile from scratch, um, and I dialed in, had been to play and dialed in his and dialed in John's as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Like I, I tried all the different modeling stuff. I tried the Kemper. I tried the Axe Effects. Um, I never played with the Head Rush just because it didn't look like it offered me anything that yeah, I, know that I didn't already have. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, we haven't used microphones on guitars for years. We when we were all using tube amps, we were running Palmer Direct boxes that are speaker okay. emulators. Yeah. Um, just because it was a clean signal every day. Yeah, yeah. But now that we've gone to this, man, out front, everything sounds amazing. And it's the consistency every single day. All three of our rigs sound the same. Like, hell, I've even got John Fred running through a, uh, we're running his harmonica through a Helix. <laughs> so instead of just being a dry harp sound, yeah. 
now he's got a harmonica through you know an old Fender Tweed amp with some spring reverb. Nice. And it sounds you know. Yeah, sounds, that's different. It sounds dynamic, like Little Walter or something, man. You know, it's, it's Great. amazing. Cool. All right. I think that's pretty much it then, isn't it? Yeah, nice and it? simple. Do you use like? Do you um, when you're setting this up for a tour? Do you use the same presets and profiles and things that you use yeah, when you're and, recording and, in the studio? And as soon as we get done, uh, like the first day that that we don't have any interviews or anything like that on this tour, I'm actually going to go in, bring my computer out, and I'll, I'll get rid of. See, because the only thing I do is I split right here, right before the cabinet. Right. That way my quarter inch out doesn't have a cabinet sound. So I'm not sending okay. a cabinet through a cabinet. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that split and put this up on Custom Tone on line six. Yeah. And it'll just say Chris FT Tour, which is a family tree tour. Nice. And this is the sound I've used the entire tour, man. Sure there's a lot of guys, I appreciate know? that. So anybody that wants it's welcome to it. Um, you know, it may be the end of this tour before I get to do that, but hopefully in the next couple of days I'll get to do that. But I'll, nice. you know, I'll post a video on the page or, yeah. Or I'll you know just make a post or something and yep. let everybody know that it's up there. Uh, yeah, cool. man. Thanks for coming to check out the stuff. Nice one. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, man. Um, guys, don't forget if you've liked this video, check out. We've got a few others with some other uh, some other touring PRS artists. Go have a look and don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the little red button down at the bottom of the video. That's going to be somewhere along here. I don't really know where, but it'll be somewhere. Um, and have a look for uh, Chris's profiles. If you've got a Helix, check it out. Um, look for Chris FT Tour, and soon yeah. enough they'll be up there. There's some other ones up too. Just under Chris BSC1 is the profile, man. So there we go. Just go to Custom Tone, search that, and it'll all be up there. Perfect. Thanks, guys. See you later.